Okay, so how does training in the heat affect you? What are the benefits to training in the heat and what are the things that you've got to watch out for? I'm going to show you two identical recovery runs, both 45 minutes each, one of them out there in 38 degrees Celsius and one of them indoor on the treadmill, still 29 degrees Celsius, but I'm going to show you what the difference of 9 degrees Celsius less can do to the run. So. These are two identical recovery runs, both 45 minutes, one outdoors in 38 degrees, one indoors, 29 degrees Celsius. Here's the difference. So just a week apart, there's no fitness difference. 8.5K in 5.15 per kilometer average, and that's outdoors in 38 degrees. When I bring that indoors, it's almost a kilometer further for the same time and almost 30 seconds per kilometer faster because it's nine degrees less, it's 29 degrees there. It's insanely different uh, just for nine degrees. And you can imagine how that affects your performance, your recovery, your but also the benefits in terms of aerobic capacity, in terms of a cooling system, your sweat rate, all those things. And it, very interestingly, like I went out to do, that was 26 September, I went out to do the next day to do it outside and then had to come in after just under 30 minutes. So the first 30 minutes were outside at 38 degrees, which is there. And then I brought it inside. So 508 per kilometer and then brought it inside and all of a sudden I'm running 30, 40 seconds per kilometer for less heart rate as well. So the average heart rate there is 134 for the entire thing and then at least 10 beats less and 30 to 40 seconds per kilometer faster. So a huge difference. So what are the benefits of running in the heat and training in the heat? And why have I chose it or preferred it for the last 12 to 14 years over training at altitude? Of course, training in the heat is more accessible for most people to, and it's more fun than going up to a remote village or remote place somewhere where there's not much going on. It's way more fun to be in the south of Spain and then in the north of Thailand and you know, enjoying lifestyle as well as getting the training benefits. But the training benefits are, number one, improved heat acclimation. So regularly training in the heat will help your body get conditioned not only to that heat you're training in, but it will also make racing feel easier if you're going to a lesser temperature. You've also got, number two, increased cardiovascular efficiency. So running in the heat forces your blood to pump more blood to both the muscles and the skin, which enhances your cardiovascular system. You've then, number three, got an enhanced sweat response. So training in the heat increases your ability to sweat, improves your cooling system, which is superb no matter what conditions you're training in. And then number four, you've got the mental toughness. And whether you're going out there for a recovery run or an easy run or you're pushing through a long run, pushing through extreme heat builds mental resilience. And so that discomfort or suffering that you're going to get later on in a race, this prepares you for that really well. So what are the negatives? What are the things you've got to watch out for running in the heat and training in the heat? There's, number one, there's an increased dehydration risk. You're sweating more, therefore you're going to get dehydrated quicker. You've got to manage that. Number two, your heart rate is higher. So that's going to make it difficult to do tougher sessions or train at your race pace. You've got to manage that. Number three, increased risk of heat exhaustion or heat stroke. You don't want to be out there with a long way to go and you're already feeling dizzy or you're not thinking straight. It's not a nice place to be. Avoid that at all costs. Number four, reduce performance. So again, you're not going to be able to do the key sessions, the long run, the intervals, in the same way that you would do when you're back home in your conditions. 
And so you've got to plan around that. For me, it's usually the faster stuff. If I'm training for an autumn marathon or an autumn ultra marathon, I'll do the faster stuff and the longer stuff on the treadmill where the conditions are a bit more favorable. And then number five, it's an increased recovery time. And this is probably the biggest one for me. If you're going to go out there and you're going to do sessions or even recovery runs or easy runs, realize that you need more recovery time. It's going to take more out of your body running in the heat. Uh, 